Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this full face glam makeup using only Rimmel products. Me and my friend Koshal, otherwise known as Koshal Beauty here on YouTube, we went on a Rimmel road trip around Glasgow, my hometown. So basically I got to show her around, it was really really cool. What we did was we created a daytime look, which is much more suitable for just like cutting about during the day and then we did the nighttime glam look. So that is what I'm recreating for you here today. I've got a whole bunch of Rimmel products here including some of their new products. So I really hope you like the tutorial and if you'd like to see how I create this look, stay tuned. Got a bit of a tan, didn't I? Okay, starting off, I'm going to use the Fix and Perfect primer. This stuff is amazing. This is one of my favourite primers. If you recall, I used to use it a lot and then I actually lost it. I got it back. So this is the Pro Multi Action Makeup Primer. I'm going to put that on all over. I've already done my skincare, so I'm just putting the primer on now. It's smooth resurfaces, brightens, mattifies and protects but at the same time it doesn't give a totally matte finish so you still have that kind of the glow and it just feels so nice and it smells nice and fresh without being like overpowering it's not it's not too fragranced. Next I'm going to go in with the Match Perfection Foundation from Rimmel as well. This is SPF 20 Invisible Coverage Visibly Perfected Skin and the shade I use is Soft Beige. And I'm going to do my little dot to dot thing. I like doing that. And I actually hadn't tried this foundation until I went on the Rimmel Road trip and it lasted in the Scottish weather as well. So I'm just going to buff this in with a brush. It smells the same as the primer. And then I'm just going to bring that down my neck ever so slightly. But can you see how bright that is? It's so nice. It gives a beautiful coverage, nice and full, but not cakey at all. And then on top of that primer, it's still nice and glowy. Love it. It's definitely one of my kind of go-to drugstore foundations now. Next, I'm going to go in with the Match Perfection Concealer. It is the matching concealer to the foundation in the shade 030 Classic Beige. And you have to kind of squeeze out. So I like to squeeze the tube, get it on the back of my hand, and then it's got a little brush attachment. So I like to just put the product on there and then kind of map out where I'm highlighting. So I'm just using this as my concealer but I'm also kind of doing a little bit of highlighting with it as well and this colour is good because it's not too pink actually it's not pink at all, it's a nice yellow toned concealer and then I'm just going to use a brush to blend that in I'm using more kind of pattern motions rather than kind of sweeping it if you know what I mean it just keeps the product in place and then I'm just kind of blending where just right under my eyes Once we've got our base on, I'm going to actually powder just now. This is the Match Perfection Loose Powder in 001 Translucent. I have been using this a lot. I actually just recently went away to LA and this is the only powder that I took. It is definitely my new favourite loose powder. It's really nice and kind of finely milled. It gives um, a beautiful finish. It's not heavy at all under the eyes. Yeah, I just really, really like it. So I'm gonna use a little brush and I'm gonna put quite a quite a heavy set under my eyes. I'm just patting that on. And I do obviously like to bake, but recently I've just been putting quite like quite a lot of the powder on with a brush. It smells nice as well. And once I've done that, I just kind of start to buff that into my skin and that makes us nice and smooth and just mattified just in the centre so I've still got that glow at the sides of my cheeks and things but in the centre we're nice and matte which means it's going to last all day. Now I'm actually going to move on to eyes so I'm going to zoom you in. Whee. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow first and to use as a base I'm actually going to use the Hide the Blemish Concealer. It comes in a kind of lipsticky tube. And I'm just going to go straight onto my eyes with this concealer. You don't need too much. And then I'm going to blend that in with a kind of domed concealer brush. Now once that's blended, we're just going to go on top with a little bit of that translucent powder from earlier. And we're just going to set our eyelid. This is such an important step if you want flawless, really like well blended eyeshadow. And let's be honest, who does not want that? Oh, it looks so fresh faced, like a little baby. The palette I'm going to use is the Magnifies 
palette by Rimmel again in 001 Keep Cam and Wear Gold. So the first colour I'm going to go into is this one here. It's a really nice kind of matte transition shade. So we're going to use that first. And we're going to start building that up. Just using kind of window wiper movements and then tilting my brush upwards to blend towards the brow. You guys know the drill. Once we've done that, I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is also matte and it's like a really nice kind of plummy shade. And we're going to keep building up that crease. It's funny, this, if you just left your eyeshadow at this stage, I would probably just wear this day to day. It's great. We're going to funk it up. And like I always say, if you need help, with your blending, just always go back into the lighter shade that we used first and use that to kind of help blend out the darker colours. Okay, at this stage I'm going to start building up underneath my eyes now. So I'm going to use the Magnifies. So this is the Magnifies eyeshadow duo. You've got your kind of light colour here, which I'm going to use later, but I'm going to use this colour here first. It's like a really beautiful rust colour. And I'm going to use that underneath my eyes. So you can see how intense it is. It literally just... went a little bit lower on the side. It's okay, it's cool. And then to blend that out, I'm gonna use this color again in the palette, the matte shade. And then I'm gonna use the first transition shade just to help blend that out underneath even more. And then I'm gonna go back on top with this smaller blending brush and the darker purple shade, and we're just gonna smoke that in a little touch more as well. Now I really want the lid to pop so I'm going to go back in with this eyeshadow duo, the Magnifies, and I'm going to pop the shimmer colour all over my lower lid. And I'm just using the side of the pencil to make sure I know where I'm going so I'm not kind of going overboard. Now that's on, I'm going to swap to a little small brush and I'm going to go in with this gold colour here. And I've just set that pencil with a gold shadow so it makes it pop even more. I'm going to use the Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner and we're going to do some wings. bigger the wing, the further you can fly away. This thing's great because it gives you real precision as to your flicks and kind of getting the end nice and neat as well. Now, to smoke the wings in, I'm going to take a really tiny brush and I'm going to go in with this darkest colour here. Where the wing meets the crease, we're just going to smoke that in a little bit. If you have watched my YouTube channel for quite a while, you'll remember that I used to do this all the time. And it just gives that really beautiful almond shaped eye. And then just to intensify the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the Scandalize Coal Pencil in Black. Coal Kajal, it's waterproof as well. You'll see how pigmented it is. And I always only kind of draw just about here. I leave the inner corner free of product. Just because it kind of opens my eyes right up. Now for a little pop, a little pop, a little inner corner pop, I'm going to take the Scandalized Dual Pencil again. I'm just going to go in the inner corner, just for that inner corner brightness. Then I'm actually going to swap my palette to the Glam Eyes palette. This is number two, Smoky Brown. It's actually brown, but I feel embarrassed saying that. And then I'm going to go in with this kind of highlighting color here. We're just going to pop the inner corner. So we nice and bright. For mascara, I'm going to be using the brand new Volume Shake Mascara. And the whole idea behind this brand new mascara is it stays clump free for longer because you've got this. Can you hear that? And basically that's a technology inside the mascara that kind of freshens up the mascara inside the tube so you don't get any clumps. So we're going to pop on a few coats of this. 
And a good tip for getting your blotting lashes nice and chunky is using the tip of the wand and just wiggling that back and forth underneath. Now, moving on to eyebrows, I'm just going to brush them through. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight my brow bone using the highlighting colour in the Glam Eye Shadow palette again. Now, the pencil I'm going to use for my eyebrows is the Professional Brow Pencil. This has been around for so long, I used to use it all the time. So we're back to using this. The shade is Hazel. Drop it. Drop it. Mummy's working. Bye bye. So I'm just taking the brow pencil and I'm going underneath and then I'm going to go on top. And then I'm going to go underneath the front, just going to create that nice line underneath the front of the brow. And then I'm going to use the pencil and create little kind of hair like strokes just at the front. And once I've done the kind of top and bottom lines and brushed it through a little bit, I'm going to swap in and use the new brow shake. Give it a little shake and it basically is a powder that fills in your brows in about two seconds. So I just like to use it through the middle part of my brow. Once we've done that, I'm going to go in with the Hide the Blemish Concealer again and a little angle brush and we're just going to tidy up these brows. So I'm going to go underneath the front and it just gives you that really nice sharp line, makes them look super tidy. And then I go all the way kind of underneath the arch as well. And I'm not carving out my entire brow, I'm literally just fixing the wee front part. And that just makes them look much tidier. And then I'm going to go in with the Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel with Argan Oil, which basically helps your brows kind of grow as well, which is good. And I'm just going to go right through them. Now our eyes and our brows are done, I just need to finish my face. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sculpt. I'm going to use the 002 Coral Glow and this is the Rimmel Contour and Blush Cape Palette and we're going to bronze up first so I'm going to use the contour part such a beautiful shade for contouring, it's not too warm at all and I like to just go around my jawline and on top of my temples as well and then just down the sides of my nose as well using the same brush, nothing fancy now I'm going to swap into a bigger brush and use the Coral Blush just at the bottom of this palette. And you guys know me, I don't use too much blusher so I'm just using the tiniest little bit just to get a slight glow on the skin. I'm actually going to bring it onto my app, the apples of my cheeks a little bit as well. Oh that's nice! Maybe I should wear a blusher more often. Now I'm going to take the Good To Glow and this is the Liquid Illuminator in the shade Notting Hill Glow. And I'm going to apply the illuminator using a damp sponge onto the tops of my cheeks. How amazing is that? And I'm going to bring it up to my temples a little bit. Trying to get that glow. And once we've started to get our glow on, I'm going to use the highlight shade in the Kate palette with a little brush and I'm just going to go on top of that liquid illuminator. And this just makes it a little bit less icy because it is quite a pink colour and it settles it down into the skin and it just makes it look really smooth. I know, right? It's not bad. Now it's just lips and finishing touches. I'm going to go in with the Lasting Finish Lip Liner in the shade Cappuccino. Now I'm going to go in with the only one matte lipstick in the shade 700. This is called Trendsetter. It's a really beautiful brownie mauve nude and I'm going to apply that all over my lips. Now that's on, I'm going to pat the lip colour in. And that is the perfect nude. It's so lovely but I'm actually going to make it a little bit lighter. So what I do is I go in with my concealer. Just go over once and pat that in as well. I'm going to go back in with my Brow Shake Filling Powder and I'm going to just do my little freckle. And then finally, I'm just going to set my entire face using the Insta Fix and Go. So this is the 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. 
And that, you guys, is the finished look. I hope you liked it. I was super impressed by the way that these products perform. Obviously, Rimmel is a drugstore brand, so it's always great kind of finding new favourite products that are super affordable. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you go and check out me and Koshal's Glasgow Rimmel Road Trip. I'll link that down below. But it was super fun. It was really cool filming in Glasgow. Nothing ever happens in Glasgow, so it was pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you've got any ideas for videos in the future, please let me know down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!